Hey guys, I am Dion with Coffee Chalk. I'm an independent chalk couture designer, and today I'm going to share with you our club couture transfer of the month. This is the nice little envelope you would get your transfer in. Hold on, I hate when the notifications pop up, I can't see. This, this comes monthly. We have a three month subscription for $19.99 a month. US and $26.99 a month Canadian and club members um, get a flat rate shipping of $4.95 and um, we also have promos each month and the promo for this month is you spend $100 and you get $10 off so if you spend any $100 you get $10 off you can do it multiple times throughout the month if you place an order for $100 retail product you get 10 off later in the month you want to place another order you can do it again so you can use that that discount for if you're a club member multiple times um, this month's transfer is what if you fly and it's a really nice sentiment it says what if I fall oh but my darling what if you fly by Erin Hansen and then there's also find your wings listed here with some birds but this is the envelope it would come to you in so you can get your club transfer. I'm going to show you how to use this transfer. It comes with three chalk paste singles that look like this. And then you would, when you get your packet, you would just knead it. And I recommend taking only a little bit out at a time because you can't get it back in the package. And we had someone recently use a full packet and they did 10 different projects with one packet so there's a lot you can you can get out of one packet why does my color keep adjusting it's weird anyway so i'm going to write on the back of this i'm writing on the back of that part and I'm gonna write two birds here in case I separate the transfer. And find your wings. The reason I'm doing this is because this side of the backer sheet is a matte finish and the other side where the transfer is sticking is a glossy finish so that your transfer does not stick um, to the paper backing so you have a place to store it. So I've labeled the back with all the sections in case I do actually separate this. I'm going to um, cut this out. We are going to be using this board. This is a um, Grayson black. So I'm just going to set that aside for a minute. You know what? Let me share this also to my VIP group. I forgot. If you are not in my VIP group, you can join the VIP group by typing VIP in the comments or you can click the link above because I do have a link in the description above. So let me go ahead and show this to my group. In the group, it is a free group, and we just share ideas and inspiration, and I also share inside information, so things that I may not put on my business page, I'll put in my group, as well as discounts on things. I'll offer discounts for holidays and such, and um, sales, and I also have a mini bundle in there as well. So that's all in my VIP group if you'd like to check it out. Type VIP in the comments or there's a link right above in the description that you can get into. Now I like to try to keep my backer sheets together but in the event that I can't, I did write on the back. And they do come apart pretty easy. That side came apart. This side seems like it wants to stick. 
I'm just gonna lift it up and I, I just shear down that line with my transfer trimmers. These are transfer trimmers, they're by Chalk Couture. What I like about them is you can use them lefty or righty and they have a non-stick um, on, the, on the blades so you won't stick to anything. And they have really nice long um, edge blade too. So I'm just going around and separating this transfer a little bit here. Just so I could put the pieces back on the backer. Well, I figured I would do this with you guys so you could see how I do it. Um, I do sometimes like to use a, um, a knife to cut down why is this side so sticky that I can't get it off? You know what? I'm going to grab my detail tool. See if I can get it off. There. I'm just... Go. Ugh, this one doesn't want to cut easily for me. Come on. Ugh, this one got really jagged on me. The others were so super easy. Oh, there we go. Toward the end, dude. It was good. Okay. Now that that's all done, I do want to separate this large piece because this is the main piece that we're going to use. I am going to fuzz this transfer. It is very sticky, so you do want to fuzz your transfer. I'm just cutting that piece off. I don't really need it. So you want to fuzz your transfer so that you put some barrier between the sticky and your surface. And today we're using Shimmer Silver, and I'm going to open the Creamy G Dreamy Couture Teal. Um, the packet that you get is also uh, Peachy Keen in the this month's club. Uh oh, my doorbell. Someone is at the front door. It's my daughter. Madison, come in. I'm live. Not paying attention. Maddie, come in. I'm live. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, honey. <laughs> I know. Dad's not home. All right, so this is, hey, Andy, this is the Grayson Black Frame. That's the one I'm going to be using. <laughs> That's my daughter, Madison. That's a very late. You need to go shower. There's always a delay on Facebook. Always. I'm just going to place this um, up in the upper portion of the board. Place that down. Give it a little rub. I, I would recommend it, yes. This way your hair dries. And this shimmer, I don't know if you can see that. It's really awesome. I think usually when I tilt it to, I just almost dropped it all over my desk. Thank goodness it didn't come out. You can see the shimmer in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'm just gonna do the whole thing in shimmer silver, I think, right? Yeah, because I'll do the birds in the teal. And we're just going to put some on here. You can see, okay. And then we're going to bring it down. And spread your board. Now, I always use too much, guys, so you really don't need this much. And then when you're taking off, you want to go on a 90 degree angle with your squeegee. 
and go down, pick it up, put it back in the jar. I'm just squeegeeing down the board. You put the paste on and squeegee off. But again, use a 90 degree angle when you're squeegeeing off. Okay, now we're gonna lift this up and you wanna pull from the center as much as possible. So I'm lifting it up and we're gonna pull up. Oh, let's go back to my eye a little bit. Oh, gotta add a drop to my eye. Good. Now see what I did before I pulled it all the way off, I was able to lay my transfer back down and fix the eye that had a little gap in it. And perfect. Let me grab something and clean my finger. I'm gonna set this off to the side and wash that later. That came out gorgeous. I don't know if you guys really said it. You didn't see my club transfer in my orders I just got. Oh, you better go double check. But that is what it looks like so far. And it really does show up in person for sure. So now I'm going to put this line on with the silver as well. This is where the birds are supposed to sit. I'm not a huge bird fan, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I think it, I think it's it's cute. Um, I guess I'm going to just center it sort of down here. No, I need to leave room for the birds. What am I doing? You got to do more to the bottom. Let's see. Hmm, it's a little farther to the right. I would try looking for a branch on another transfer that I may have had. But, oh well, that's good enough. I didn't see one. I have the Happy camp, Camper transfer, but it um, the tree I felt was way too small for these birds. These are a good size bird. I'm doing this on a little, oh, I hit my board. That's okay, it'll wash off. I'm going to grab it from this end so I can grab it from a center. Make sure the line looks good. Perfect. I just have one little oops right there. See, I hit my board. I'm just going to wipe it off before it dries. Then I'm going to take a little bit of water with a Q-tip. And just get the rest off without hitting the line because our shimmer paste do take a little longer to dry I think I hit my tea because that was perfect before but that's okay I can fix that too I hope you had a nice trip Andy sounded good Now this is a heat gun, so you don't want to hold it too close to your surface or your chalk paste, and you want to keep it moving. Chalkator does sell a, um, I forget what it's called, but it's a, dry, a drying tool, and it has two speeds, and it doesn't get very hot. And like I said, so the silver does take longer to dry. So we're just letting this dry. The, the uh, information about club is up in the description as well. And the um, link to join my club is there. And we've had some really great transfers this year. And that's why I, um, I love the club. Because the club transfer is exclusive to designers and club members no one else can get it like you can't go on my website and purchase it i'm just going to put a dab on this area that i think i may have hit the t and we're just going to just dab that in to fill in my t 
I may have just slightly hit it and now it had, you know, it had a uh, missing silver. I always keep a little brush with a little tip on it handy for that type of stuff. I don't need the transfer trimmers, put them back. Okay, that looks good. I'm done with the silver, so I'm going to go ahead and close that up. And then we're going to open up this creamy, dreamy paste. Now, silver is always creamy, dreamy. Quick dry tool. Thank you, Andy. The uh, shimmer paste is always a very nice consistency. It always has been. Um, the couture teal that I have that is... Um, the original formula, I always have to, you always have to stir, and it's not very, you know, smooth. Like, I can get it smooth if I continue to stir, 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 but this formula is more like our inks, and it's a beautiful consistency. They all come with this foam top, so you want to make sure you save that because it helps keep the paste. Um, it helps keep the paste from drying out. I'm just wiping this on here. Get all that goodness off the lid. Oh, put, put it back in the top. You always want to put it right back in your top. And I'm just going to mix this just to show you. Like, it's like whipped. It's... I don't even know if you guys can see the difference, but it's a, it's so much creamier. I can just tap it off and look at that consistency. Whereas this one is clumpier. <laughs> it's a, definitely thicker, but it's still usable, and I will continue to use that. I have a lot of paste that's the old... Um, the old paste and I will continue to use them because there's nothing wrong with them. I got some drops on my board. All right, so let me just make sure that this is dry. I'm afraid to touch it. Because every time I touch it, yeah, it's dry. Woo! Okay. Every time I touch it, when I'm testing my shimmers, I usually mess them up because I'm too eager to keep going. Um, let's see. I talked about the promo this month, $100, you get $10 off. There is a promo also for um, joining my team. They are including a mystery 8.5 by 11 transfer. That's our size B transfer. It's a $15 value, so you'll get an additional $15 value, and no one knows what this transfer is. We don't know. I... I don't even think the couturiers know, which is the highest level designer or one of the highest level designers, but um, nobody knows what that transfer is. So we're all dying to see what that transfer is. So if you want to join my team, uh, comment, join in the comments and or team in the comments and I will get you that information either or it doesn't matter. Um, there's also supposedly a chance to win a hundred dollars of designer dollars. They are do dollars that designers earn to spend on product on chocolate tour product so you have a chance to win 100 designer dollars in your kit too if you join my team they will be giving out um golden tickets and i forget what their little promo was called i think i had it it was something cute um i don't know oh, hey lisa I forget what the what the promo names are. I never remember what they are. I just remember what the deal is. But you can um, get a mystery transfer in your kit. So that's a 255, right? 250, no, $265 value instead of $250 value in our kit. All right, so we're going to move on now. And I'm going to put these birds down. So we have three birds. And we're going to do the birds all in couture teal. And we're just going to make them look like they're sitting on this line. And that's why I wanted to get, oh, I got a fuzz them first. I almost forgot. Because they are very sticky. This transfer is super sticky. 
This is my cousin clock. My vacuum just rolled on in here. So if it's loud, I apologize. <laughs> it might get stuck on something in here. Who knows? Um, I have one of those robot vacuums. This is the fuzz and cloth. It has terry cloth on one side and microfiber on another. This side I use for drying and this side I use for fuzzing. But you can use your a t-shirt or a, a bath towel is probably best. I'm just going to stick this guy here. I'm just going to press down around the silk screen and we're going to grab a squeegee and use some of this creamy dreamy. You're supposedly not, not um, you don't have to use as much as you would the other paste too, I've been told. So trying to put a little bit on, see how far I can get it to go. And you know what? It covered. And I'm usually pretty heavy handed. I just want to make sure I got over this line because it is a thick line of the silver under there. And I'm going to pull this up and lift. And I believe you have to pull slower with the new paste, I was told, too. Um, you want to just do a slower pull. So that looks really good. Let me grab the other bird. I love couture teal. And you know what? The silver and the teal looks great. Looks really good together. It's the shimmer silver. I'm going to put him over toward the end, I think. Yeah, we'll put him over here. I don't have anything to sit him on, so maybe I should angle him more? I don't know. I want him slightly different angle than these guys. We'll try that. Okay, I'm going to dip in here, lay this down, and that vacuum is definitely going to get stuck in here. Is it too loud, the vacuum? <laughs> There we go. Now we got birds. So we're going to close up this old couture teal because otherwise it's going to sit here and dry out. Now this stuff, they have left it out. The new creamy dreamy, they've left out and it's been fine. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> I'm going to put it away. That has to dry anyway. This stuff is amazing because I can just tap it down and boom, right back in the jar. So when you get your creamy dreamy, you're going to love it too. And all the new formula is um, coming with these new little stickers. And it says new creamy dreamy formula right on the sticker. And I got my three pack because club members got 25% off a three pack last month. And uh, designers also got a discount on a three pack. So I got my three pack. And all creamy, dreamy. They're all creamy. Dreamy. Now it's funny because earlier in the month, I'm getting stuff all over me. Hold on, I gotta wipe this off before I touch something. I got couture teal on me. I got paste, um, the new ones that I got, the originally got, like this is the peony and this is creamy dreamy, but there's no sticker. And then all like the, um, the new shimmers that I showed you guys don't have the sticker. So I think that sticker came out slightly after it, it was originally released. So I'm not even going to bother drying this. I'm just going to leave it and I can show you guys. See that? I'm trying to see if you can see it. 
See those teal birds? They look so cute. I don't know if you can see the shimmer at all. This light tends to bring in too much light, but it's so beautiful, that shimmer. Can't really, oh, you can't hear me? Oh, because of the vacuum? I even have a mic on. Hey, Maddie, where are you at? I can't turn the vacuum off with my phone. Oh, hold on a second. It's really not even a loud vacuum. That's my quieter vacuum. <laughs> One set of your triple. Oh, you can't hear the vacuum. Okay. <laughs> I shut it off anyway. One set of my triple play packs didn't have the stickers on either. Oh, okay. And see, my triple play pack did. That's funny. Okay, good. You can hear me fine. Good. Because I have a mic hooked up to my phone as well that actually comes over to me closer. I have it attached to my light. Um, I sometimes, a lot of the times, forget to plug that mic in before I start my live, but I got it. I remembered this time. So this is the only project I actually have for you guys today. Um, I wanted to show it as soon as I got it and make sure that everybody sees how beautiful it is. I've seen people just use this top section and not even use the birds because like I said, I'm not even a bird person, but I really like this saying a lot and I hope you guys like it too. You want to see? What, what is? What it says, what if I fall? But my darling, what if you fly? It means basically to take chances and don't, don't worry about falling because we all fall. We all make mistakes in life. And then you, I love that too. you move on and you fly. And I love it. I love the saying. I love, I love it so much. I actually just got goosebumps just telling her about it. What if I, what if I fall? Oh, darling. What if you fly? Erin Hansen. I really don't know who that is, but that is the um, author of that that saying so anyway I don't think you should have did that that's who said it it was part of the transfer uh oh doorbell anyway thank you guys for joining me tonight it's always nice to see you and say hello and chat um I'm creating stuff for a vendor fair up here in my neighborhood in a couple weeks so I've been busy doing some of that. I have a lot of ideas and sometimes don't know what to do with them. And they're girls, so they're yelling at the door. Thank you, guys. Hi, Carolyn. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.